do you know that not knowing the type of skincare product ingredients that you use can actually make your skincare journey frustrating do you know that it can affect the treatment plan for your acne do you know that it can make your skin to be worse do you know that you can be making your skin to have some issues that it has do you know that not knowing this ingredient of the skincare product that you are using can be detrimental to your health in this video i'm going to show you how to check the ingredients if the ingredient in the skincare product that you choose is good is healthy is safe so stay tuned and follow me through this journey most time when people want to shop for their skincare product they just go to the place go to the cosmetic shop to the pharmacy shop and then they just browse through and just pick whichever product based on what they are seeing based on the beautiful pictures based on the beautiful description that is written without even checking the ingredient part of that skincare product that they have chosen and this is wrong when you want to shop for your skincare product you have to be responsible for whichever product that you are picking you have to take responsibility you have to take charge of whichever product that you are selecting so that is why i am making this video to show you how to take responsibility how to be sure that what you are buying is not going to waste your time waste your money waste your resources and at the end even make you frustrated because you did not get the result that you want so let's get into it i'm going to show you how to check the ingredient part using inci decoder the inci decoder will tell you what each and every ingredient in the skincare product or in the cosmetic product that you choose is for it will tell you what the function of that ingredient is and if there is an ingredient that is not good for your skin it will let you know if there is an ingredient that is not supposed to be there for instance you are shopping for oily skin product and you are buying picking a product and you don't even know that the product has oil in it it will show you so this video is going to be in four parts so in part one which is this video i'm going to show you how to type in the ingredient and then check the function of each ingredient you can type in the ingredient one after the other you can type it all together putting comma after each ingredient that would let you know which ingredient in the product is not good for your skin and which ingredient in the product you shouldn't be using if you have oily skin because most times this ingredient they use big big chemical formula that we may not even understand the meaning of those words that are written there also you can use google bing kiwi browser pramini chrome whichever browser that you want to use you go there and you type INCI so let's choose I would like to use pink let's use pink so when you get to pink you type INCI so you click on it this is INCI decoder decode your skincare ingredient let me show you INCI decoder decode your skincare ingredients so you click on it so this is the INCI's platform so what you can do you can start typing the ingredients here if that is what you want to do you can start typing it out for instance I have this product called top active baking powder and the ingredient here is edible starch sodium bicarbonate aluminum sulfate calcium carbonate so I'll just type sodium bicarbonate and such so it brought out sodium bicarbonate i click on it then it will bring out these different products that are under sodium bicarbonate so it's not telling me much about this let's go back So here, official closing information. So here, it's telling you that sodium bicarbonate is abrasive, 
is a scrub, is a buffering deodorant. So that means you can use sodium bicarbonate as a deodorant. For instance, for mouth odor, for armpit, for those that have odor. It can also be used as a scrub. You can mix it with water, make it into a paste and rub it all over your face. So it is telling you that you can use this as it when you see it in, in a cosmetic or in a skincare product that it is for either an abrasion or a scrub it, depending on the quantity it can be used as a buffering agent or as a deodorant now let's click on that buffering agent it's telling you that it helps ingredient that sets the ph of a cosmetic formula to the right right value you know the cosmetic product is supposed to be slightly closer to the skin which is close to 7 ph slightly acidic it shouldn't be basic basic is not good for the skin that's a high ph is not good for the skin so it's helping ingredient to send the ph of a cosmetic formula to the light value so let's go back let's check this abrasive search slash scrub so the little chunky ingredient in scrub that helps to polish or exfoliate your skin abrasives are also often useful in oral care product to clean your teeth so some people use it as toothpaste or incorporate it in production of toothpaste and then as a deodorant it helps to remove smear bad smell even if you sweat yes you can use it as you can mix it with water and rub it under your armpit if you sweat a lot and you know most time when we sweat we tend to have odor so it helps to control odor it, it can be used as a deodorant so now that we've seen this i can type another ingredient i can just say salicylic acid so salicylic acid you can see it's showing me products that contains ice can go to ingredient i do not want the product i want to know what the ingredient is for so there is caprolyx and it's like acid there is salicylic acid so let's go for this salicylic acid so this salicylic acid is the chemical formula and it is one of the gold standard of English for treating skin problem problem with the skin whether it is acne whether it is pigmentation whether it is inflammation blackhead different form of skin even um psoriasis it can be used for treating psoriasis it, can, it is also slightly an antibacterial agent so this is all that there is about so you can click for more to know more about salicylic acid the different percentage that is okay the different percentage that should be in certain ingredients so when it is in 20 to 30 ingredients um, it's telling you that it, it is used for for pigmentation treatment if it is between 0.5 to 2 percent it is used for treatment of acne so this is what you should be looking out for so wait, let's say you want to buy some a product that will help you control pigmentation so you check if the the salicylic acid that you are buying is within this 20 to 30 percent if it is not then that means that the product might not give you what you want to get and if it is for treatment of of acne so you check if it is between 0.5 to 2 percent if it is not within or below this range it may not give you the expected result that you want it can even be higher than it can be between two points it could be between two percent to ten percent but result, um, research have shown that increasing the the concentration of the salicylic acid in treatment of acne does not really give any significant difference there is no difference so 0 0.5 to 2 percent is okay for treatment of acne so now you've seen how you can use this this particular INCI decoder to check the ingredient of the product that you are buying.